10 of the most loved pets in Adopt Me. Out of all 480 pets, these are the 10 most loved by the Adopt Me community. And these pets aren't based on values, they're based on what looks the best. The 10th most loved pet in Adopt Me is a Nessie. This right here is a old Robux pet that is very difficult to go and get your hands on. Not only does this pet look cool, it's actually really rare as well. This pet was only available for a very limited time, and the pet was only available for exactly one week. So let's see what offers we actually get for the Nessie pet. Since this pet is so loved by many people, you're gonna get some pretty good overpays. Since this is a 500 Robux pet, you're looking for around 3 to 4 legendaries in terms of the pet's value. And this person just offered me one of the most hated pets in the game. There is no way I'm accepting this. Now we've checked out the 10th most loved pet, how about we check out the 9th most loved pet? And that is a space whale. This pet already looks like it's a neon, and this is just its regular form. The pet was pretty easy to go and get, but not many people actually decided to pick this up. This is not a Robux pet, I'm pretty sure it costs you a bunch of bucks. The pet is loved by many people as it has lots of intricate details, it's an ultra rare, and it just looks really cool. Again, this pet was only available for a very limited time, it features 4 sets of fins and quite a lot of interesting details. The pet's pretty similar to a Capricorn, so let's have a look at what offers we might go and get. They literally just added a Capricorn, then swapped it out to a King Penguin, which although it is a Robux pet, I'm pretty sure the Space Whale actually has a higher value. Yeah, they'd have to add at least two King Penguins for this to be a win for me. But this goes to show you that you can go and get Robux pets offered for a pet that literally just cost you bucks. This pet is also seen as a preppy pet, hence why Preppy Girl to, uh, is currently trading me. Do they have any preppy pets to go and offer me? You won't believe what number one and number two on this list are, as they are very preppy, and you'll want to watch until the end to find out. Let's now go and check out the eight most loved pet inside of Adopt Me, and it's a classic. This is the Pet Rock. Originally released as an April Fool's pet, later down the line released as a pet that was purchasable for 350 bucks is the Pet Rock. The Pet Rock in its neon form glows a giant purpley pink. And this pet is just a really funny pet, it's kind of like a meme. Adopt Me then continued the theme by adding an evil rock at a later point, with the neon evil rock just having a slightly different face, which was slightly a disappointing version, which not many people like the evil rock to be honest. But considering this rock was originally 350 bucks, it was very affordable and people just loved the look of it. Kind of because it looks like something you could go and make at home. I mean, I challenge one of you guys to go and make this at home right now. This is a really good pet for trading as it has a lot of value. For example, I'm getting offered a flaming fox, which believe it or not, is the one pet that I actually do not have inside of a dobby. I'm not even kidding. Look, right here, flaming fox from the fire dimension, that is the last pet that I actually need to complete my pet journal. Which is why it now says 480 out of 480. I say that was a success of a trade. I still do need a safari egg because my goal is to have one of every single egg and I actually gave the safari egg away. Speaking of eggs, this is Eggy Party, a brand new game, which offers lots of gameplay options, including hide and seek, special egg modes like battle royale, or identifying mischief makers. And there is parkour to go and do. You can transform into an adorable Eggy and take on all kinds of fantastic stages with your friends. You can also disrupt other Eggies with all sorts of cool items. Freeze them, electrocute them, take your pick. Eggy Party provides players with the opportunity to unleash their creativity through the Eggy Workshop, which allows everyone to build their own maps and gameplay styles. This mode enables players to choose from a variety of events before giving them access to the map editor, where they can alter the shape of the stage and add different types of environmental objects and hazards. There's many impressive creations you could make, and you will soon have a chance to show your talents by assembling the most challenging stages possible. I just got my first win, and I want you to go and challenge me in the game. This is my username, you can try and beat me when you go and download Eggy Party for yourself with the link in the description. I bet none of you are as good as me at being an egg. Download Eggy Party today and check out the exciting content that awaits. The Blazing Lion.
as much as I would love to have this pet, I simply don't have it. The odds are 0.01%. One in 10,000 of going and placing a lure will go and give you a blazing lion. Now in terms of value, this is a very valuable pet, but it's also really cool looking and people just want to get it. It's a lion, it's a legendary, everybody loves this. It says I've adopted one, I have not adopted it, I borrowed it from a friend. Unfortunately, I do not have one of these, especially the neon form of this pet looks great. You can understand why players love the look of the blazing lion, plus the story behind it, how difficult it is to get, and the fact that you could literally get this completely for free using a lure makes this a very desirable and loved pet in the Adopt Me community. But the blazing lion isn't as loved as the pet cow. That's right, people love the pet cow more than they do love the blazing lion, according to my statistical data that I collected from my subscribers going and telling me. This means some of you guys may agree with this list and some of you may not, so feel free to make a top 10 list in the comments and let me know your favorite 10 pets. The cow is a very desirable pet, it's preppy, everyone loves the cuteness to it, and it's pretty easy to go in a job considering it's only a rare. The pet is now very old, this is what the classic untouched version looks like without like neon or painted, because I, I painted the other one pink, because um, I can I guess. <laughs> Yeah, here's my pink lawnmower. What a great name. Everyone just loves this pet. It looks cute. It's got a lot of value. It's an old pet. And uh, everyone's really hoping that Adobe makes some more versions of cows in the future. I mean, we have a Highland cow, which uh, is kind of like its ugly brother or something. It just, it's just very fluffy and got horns and definitely not as cute as the original. And we also have the Longhorn cow, which... To be fair, I kind of completely forgot even existed. I I wouldn't say that this is uh, a cute version. So I think people definitely prefer the regular cow, to be honest. On the same theme of cows, we have, again, another old rare pet that people just love the design of. This is a pet that is loved for its simplicity and uh, boba-looking design. I'm pretty sure every single time you see someone with an owl, it will be called boba. Trust me, facts check it. If you have an owl, is it called Boba? Because that's what they all are. Anyway, this is a great pet. It's an old pet, very desirable, and again, very difficult to go and get your hands on, but everyone loves this as it's simple, it's cute, and it's an owl. I mean, it doesn't look like a real life owl. Adopt Me has made multiple variations of an owl since, such as the owl bear, which is um, kind of freaky. I don't like it. Or the snow owl, which at least is cute, but yeah, stay away from the owl bear. Or that's the nightmare owl, to be fair, which again is kind of similar to the blazing lion in the same way that it glows neon. This is a cool pet. I do like this one, um, so I, I approve of this one, okay? But not, not the weird owl bear. That can stay away. As for the, the fennec fox, yeah, that's definitely my pet owl. Oh, actually, I do have an egg that is colored and called Owl, which is probably one of the rarest things possible. If you have a Nick named um, Egg, then please at all costs do not hatch it. This is extremely rare and it's called Owl, which is kind of funny to be honest. You guys are gonna find this funny that the fourth most loved pet is a unicorn. That's right, this thing is loved more than an owl. Apparently. A the unicorn is a pet that was originally hatched out of just like a cracked egg, a regular egg or anything. Now the only way to obtain a unicorn is through trading or if you are to go and hatch a retired egg which gives you a chance of hatching it. There's obviously a ton of variations of unicorns that exist in Adopt Me such as the regular unicorn, the golden unicorn, a frost unicorn which is a very expensive 1000 robux variation there's also the diamond unicorn and the evil unicorn but everyone just loves the classic unicorn in adopt me it's very desirable and it's always good at getting trades so let's have a look at what sort of trades we might get 
for a fly ride full grown unicorn. This person's actually offered me a pretty decent deal. This is a queen bee for a fly ride full grown unicorn, which is kind of decent to be fair, but since this is full grown, I'm trying to see if we can go and get like something slightly different, but this pet definitely does get a lot of value. We're talking about a pet that is literally just, you could hatch it, and this is a one in 40 Robux pet. I think this might actually be a win, I'm not too sure. Yeah, so apparently this is a small win on my end, and I do want to go and get some successful trades during this video. It seems we're also getting a bunch of random toys, which honestly I don't want, but a queen bee for a fly ride full grown unicorn is actually a pretty decent trade. Let's go and confirm this. Again, this is a Robux pet, which is 1 in 40, and that's like 200 Robux an attempt, making this kind of an expensive pet, but not too much value to it, not too much hype behind the queen bee. Let's see if they'll go and accept my trade for this. I mean, they offered for it. But everyone just loves the unicorn as it's a classic pet. It looks good and it's kind of just desirable by everyone, to be honest. The next pets might actually shock you. It's a butterfly. Somehow, this is one of the most loved pets, and I really wasn't expecting it, but then again, considering how many butterflies there are in Adopt Me, it also slightly makes sense. I mean, the Adopt Me logo is a literal butterfly. Anyway, what have we got here? We have a birthday butterfly. This is an exotic pet. I mean, it's literally just someone's called it exotic. I must have traded for it. Uh, we have the 2021 Uplift Butterfly. Um, 2022 Uplift Butterfly, and 2023 Uplift Butterfly. Adopt Me releases a butterfly every single year, um, so I guess we're getting one at some point this year. Then there is a Diamond Butterfly, which um, is just diamond colored. Honestly, I personally don't love the butterflies, but these are very rare pets. They're difficult to get your hands on, and they're collectible. Everyone likes the look of it. It looks cute. There's not much to hate about it unless you um, hate butterflies, which apparently some people have a phobia of butterflies, which I found out the other day. Anyway, we have an orange butterfly, which is basically just the same thing, but different color variations. There's not really much difference between the green and the diamond. So realistically, just trade for the green and you could just dye it the diamond color or trade for the orange and dye it the color of the diamond. It's literally the exact same shape, which is kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, the purple butterfly, what else is that? A yellow, a yellow butterfly. Let's go and check out this. This is, oh, I've never actually tested flying out on a butterfly before. This is what it looks like. This is just the yellow butterfly. I don't really like the color of this one. Um, why is it saying a bunch of trades have expired? That's, that's random. Anyway, what other butterflies have we got? We got the koala butterfly, um, and what else? There's a purple, scarlet, scarlet, why do I only have one purple? I don't know. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's so many different types of butterflies, which just, everyone likes them, I guess. Um, it's desirable, people like how they look, and they kind of trade really well. I wasn't expecting this to be like a fan favorite, but then again, since there's so many of them, people like the butterfly. I guess that's why Adopt Me brings back a new butterfly every year, is apparently the whole community loves it, which honestly I didn't know about until today. Which brings me into the second best pet. Can you guess what it is? Is it a shadow? Nope, it's a giraffe. That's right, everyone loves the giraffe more than a shadow dragon. In terms of value, of course the shadow dragon is the most valuable pet, but do people love it the most? According to data, they love the giraffe more. I mean, it kind of looks nicer, let's be real. Running around with a giraffe looks so much cooler than running around with a shadow dragon. The giraffe comes out of a safari egg, which is the rarest egg possible inside of Adopt Me. The pet just looks cool, it's got a long neck. And fun fact, a giraffe actually has a purple tongue. In case you're wondering why, it's to make sure that it doesn't get sunburnt because their tongue is basically eating leaves all day. That is why they have purple tongues. That is your fun fact for the day, everyone. And also, every single spot in a giraffe is unique. So no two giraffes will look exactly the same. Unless you're playing Adopt Me, where every single giraffe in Adopt Me is exactly the same placement. 
But yeah, this is a great pet. It's really difficult to go and get. In terms of value, it's pretty much similar to a frost dragon, but it does look very cool. Which brings us down to the final pet. And uh, this one is very fitting for my YouTube channel. I think you guys can probably guess what this is. One of the fan favorite pets for the year is a chocolate chip bat dragon. This pet shot up a ton in value. It is a bat dragon. Obviously, people prefer maybe the original bat dragon, but it's a food themed bat dragon, which everyone loves cookies, obviously. But yeah, this pet was originally a thousand Robux. It's a great looking pet. There is literally nothing not to like about the pet. It's got a cookie for a tail. And someone's even taken a bite out of it. It's got cookie feet and a cute little face. It's adorable. I love it. This is one of my favorite pets inside of a dummy, of course, because my name is Cookie Gutter. So that is the 10 most fan favorite loved pets inside of a dummy. Not all of these are based on value because a giraffe is actually rarer than a chocolate chip bad dragon. Let us know your favorite 10 down below in the comment section and I'll pick some and give you some of your favorite pets to people who actually go and like this video, subscribe and comment that 10 of the list in the comments. Click here to watch this video next where I trade a dog in 100 trades and get a crazy mega neon pet. I think you're gonna love this video. Click here right now to go and watch it next. Go on, I dare you to.